in here we have the rows to repeat at the top option you can barely see it in here we get to pick which rows we want to repeat on each individual page and in my case i'm picking the first row I have this huge table in here that contains lots and lots and lots of rows and I would like to print this on a piece of paper but when I try to hit Control p and see the preview of what my data will look like printed on paper I have the first page in here that looks okay but if I move to the next pages I no longer have the header now if I were to pass page number two three four five to someone that person will not know what each individual column what type of data it has this was a department this was a date this was a sales amount but but with the way that Excel currently prints my data, I am not able to carry that over on pages 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, let me show you how to do that, how to keep the header on each page. And if I manage to explain that to you in this video, you have to promise that you'll smash the thumbs up button, subscribe and leave a comment. All right. Now, with that out of the way, the first thing that we have to do is to identify the page layout menu from here. Click on it. This section contains the print titles button. I will click on this button and it will open up this wizard it has four tabs in here and what i care about is tab number four in here we have the rows to repeat at the top option you can barely see it in here we get to pick which rows we want to repeat on each individual page and in my case i'm picking the first row i'm hitting enter and on this wizard i'm hitting ok now if i try to hit ctrl and p and try to see the preview of what my data would look like when it comes out of the printer first page looks exactly as it did initially which is good and if i move to the second page notice that i have the header in here now this is how you repeat the header on each individual page in microsoft excel if this was useful Please hit the thumbs up button and thank you for watching the video.